Some people have no serious, realistic goals, goals about life. <laughs> Somebody will make fun of me simply because my speech impediment. Maybe I got hit in the head too many times. Do you see how close this is to the South Point? Crazy enough is this. That is literally Las Vegas Boulevard. Here's what I learned. When you live like a king, you get what you want. One of the crazy things is, is this. I don't know who owns this land, but I do understand this. I understand that I one day wanted to build my own house. I work extremely hard, forget. I actually forget to sleep sometimes. I work a lot. And I don't just tear people's fucking ass open to fight just on TV. I actually have a finance background, marketing background. I shake hands with politicians. A lot of people are like, who are you? I speak a couple of different languages because I realized that it was about getting better as a person. And I know the fakes from, you know, fakes, snakes. I, man, I spot that shit. Think about going into a fight. It's as simple as, do you know how to deliver? Because it's all work. And, you know, when you're a workaholic and you try to make things a little better and restore a little bit of balance, man, I've met Republicans, I've met Democrats, I've met Tea Party, I've met everything in between. <laughs> I know not even the people that are actually, um, they're not even skilled a whole hundred percent. Crazy. Crazy shit. Anyway, here's what I understand. I understand that, you know, I understand that I wanted to live like and take care of my people. And how could I do that? There's a lot of people that have been in fighting gyms and and they don't even realize like what driver's seat they sit in. They don't understand they, you know, they, you know, you could eh privyet kokchula hano shor spasiba pozluste. That's Russian, you know, or mashlomha to tra bebakasha. They don't even understand that what fighting has actually given them. That's an international language. Everybody fights in the same language. And everybody gets their fucking ass beat in the same language. Let that sit in. People that just speak English, they can only, you know, their... <laughs> their marketability only reaches. It only reaches to the United States and English-speaking countries, though. The rest of it, like, everybody understands fighting. But whenever you have fucking Nike, Reebok, Adidas, most people pronounce it Adidas. <laughs> when you have slave fucking goals, no wonder. Natives are good at horse racing, rodeo. Fashion. Sometimes I, I, I don't get it. I had some guy that was uh, raking me over the coals because I got on to him about posting some fucking alcohol shit. I'm like, I wish you would. I'm like, are you fucking retarded? Do you realize how much alcohol has actually weakened our people? He was like, but you fight, you beat people up. I'm like, motherfucker, we've been fighting since like beginning of times. I'm talking warrior and brave was earned by us on a battlefield. What I'm doing ain't fucking new, man. I wish you would. Here's what people understand about me. I will not run. I'm not about to run. Somebody hits me in the mouth. I've seen a lot of people talk a lot of shit on Facebook. I've seen a lot of people talk a lot of shit in general. There's one thing you can Google about me. 
there's a graduation process I have wrestled for years, decades. Then you have like an amateur process of fighting. Then you have a professional. Then you realize that you start at the bottom when it comes to professional. I have gone all the way through that shit. In fact, I've got 100% of my sponsorships. I have done all of my media, booked all of my media and built it from the ground up. And I got myself that televised deal. I am more than just what meets the eye. <laughs> That's why most people are like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I didn't have a fucking agent. I didn't have like a, a, a publicist. I built all that shit by myself. My fucking trainer did nothing but really like hold pads for me though, man. And yeah, I'm mad at the guy, but you know, he's very skilled at like putting a fight plan together though, but that's literally the tip of the iceberg, man. But um, you know, aside from all that, I don't want to put my problems on Facebook. Um, crazy you know one day I want to you know live close to the South Point you know and I want to travel because I'll always do either political financial I'll build banks uh, make suggestions create political policy um, financial reform from greed though but man I I'm not even <laughs> sure sometimes I even like I even enjoy human beings just in general because they have a certain nature about them that's that's very cold cruel and mean and they're not you know consistent but what I understand about horses is is that man they have a, a really interesting old school relationship with humans we used to call them our four-legged brothers though man they're they're racers and I mean they're not like dogs dogs you can fucking beat and they'll come back to you though man horses you treat them bad though man they will fuck you up man it's crazy though but people ask me like man you, <laughs> you didn't even own like cattle or horses or so what you know this is what I want to do this is who I am and you know my family a lot of a lot of three irons though man Three irons and not afraid of both though, man. They were big in a rodeo, big in a horse race. And my tribe, we're a horse tribe, you know, Crow Nation. A lot of the family, uh, you know, even that we adopted though, it's crazy though. Even over in Hidatsa or Kiowa country down in Oklahoma, it's crazy. You know, this is stuff that, this was who I was supposed to be. It's, I don't know, I think it's neat. I have a good day though.